we need to get this end ready for putting the buckle on. So I need to sky it down the insides there, just a little bit. So I'll get out my trusty sky. And as we did last time. <coughs> put it right there. I want to put it around. I'm starting from one end. Um, Slide the edges first. And scrub the other edge. And then down the guts. Just so we take some of that out of there. And there we go. Bit of a bash. Get that bend back in there. Find the center. And then we want to find, again, the slot cutter and cut a slot in there for that buckle. Almost. Okay. Slot in there. Let's see if the buckle fits. Sure it does. Okay, got a good buckle there. We've got the keeper that goes in as well. Slide there from this end. So we just need a couple of rivet holes there. Central rivet holes, I'll so mark them on there. Actually, we'll mark them on the back so it doesn't make a mess. That's it. Pop those in there. Right. Now we'll get our stamp out. I've got some gold rivets too, so most of this is going to be gold. Um, might get the right size out.
one hole, now just so we get the right distance between them. So about here. Just make the two of them central. That looks about right. And then we fold them over and punch them through the other side. So there's our hardware all ready to go. What we got? Keeper. In between. And riveted down. Nice. So that's that end done. Um, obviously the other end we're going to have to have some, some holes in um, for the spike on the, the buckle to go through. Um, just test and see if these are bigger. Probably a bit bigger than the ones we've already got in there. So we'll go the next size up. find the center which we've done before I'm just going to continue that along a little bit actually what we can do is use those guides again which are here As if you remember they actually had some holes in them Obviously the, the shafts are different size, but you can still get the idea of where to put the holes. Um, let's get, take them in the centre, line everything up. I use my ball just to put a sneaky hole in the middle there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put a couple more because, as I said, we're not exactly sure how much of this is going to go around his neck. All right, so there's where the holes need to be. Then we're just going to put the holes in there. Got. He's a big dog, isn't he? Oh, I don't know why people want big dogs, but anyway. Okay, clean up a bit. Some of these things I don't need away. Almost ready for patterning and things like that. So, bringing this back, as I said before, I'm going to start putting Otto's name. So Otty, Otty the Rotty name um, on to the, the collar. So right. 
that'll be about where it is and the center so we're going to put the word Oti over here and then under the D the D lives under there in the center so Oti I'm going to put the word V in little text and then Rotti over here Rotti the Rotti it's fine and then I'll basically just have the um, the tooling over here um, I'll work out what I'm going to do with it um, I haven't found a pattern yet so I'm still looking so we're going to be using some of these craft tool stamps uh, maybe not those ones we've got some uh, letters so that's what we're going to do um, you get the, the basic is an alphabet stamp set um, there's all the letters in there A, B, C, D, F, T with this thing in the middle and basically just load one up they've got a little mark on the bottom to tell you where the bottom is so you can see and I've even got this contraption for keeping them all central so basically how this works we'll get rid of that for a second we'll get rid of that for a second I'm going to put Oti in the middle there. Yeah, undo this. So, O. And screw that down tight so they don't move. And then you can use that guide to make sure you're in the centre. All straight, and you tap away. Obviously, we're going to have to wet for the first to do this, and we're going to have to put some um, marble underneath as well uh, to give it a hard surface. So. And get the stem out the middle, and we'll start with an O. I always find it good to um, rock them to left and right as well. A nice O. So it's starting off there. Let's get my O back in. Go. Oti. Let's find this center again. And what I'm going to do, because I've got a center mark there, I might just put a bit of a, a mark there. I'm going to use the lowercase ones as well. With a letter. Same situation. T H E. Reset the size.
Okay, I'll see you there. If we can get a bit of an equal distance, huh? That's about seven centimeters, so another seven centimeters about there. Okay, so in total, Ossie the Rotty. Okay, so we've here's the stamp to stamp in the, um, the lettering there, Ossie the Rotty. Um, Probably leave it just like that if you wanted, but to make it a little bit more interesting, um, I'm going to actually uh, use a beveler to bevel around the edges and flatten it out. So that will make the actual Otty the Rotty stand stand proud of the um, of the of the belt or collar. And so basically, again, we just need to give it a bit of a wet. I'll just do this bit first to start with. And again, we're going to put a little bit of marble underneath. And just around the edges here, just going to, oops, hands in the way there. Take the edges down a bit. This makes the letter come forward. Right, should bring it a bit closer in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, continue on with that. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around all these letters and uh, 
because this is going to take a little time and to save you being bored, um, obviously, um, I'm just going to continue on. So, back in a bit.